Hey guys, Kaiju here. Today we're going to be doing a Kaiju review, which is something I have not done in a very long time. I think the last one that I did was Giga Chimera, which I think was almost close to a year ago. I'm not sure exactly the specifics, but I know it was a very, very long time ago, and I have not gotten anything Kaiju related since then. Until now. But the figure that we're going to be reviewing today is the Shin version of Naranga. This is a figure that came out a little while ago. I'm not sure how well you guys can see him, but I'm going to put him right there. Uh, this was a figure that's been out for a little bit, but I recently got him because I saw him on eBay for a relatively cheap price, and I thought that, hey, this guy looks pretty cool. Let's pick him up. As always, let's first start off with detail, and detail on this figure is really, really good. I'm not going to move him around too much, but here just as kind of a side view, you can see that his horn is really, really good looking. His spines, they are all very, very nice looking. His tail as well, it looks great. The paint on here is a little bit lackluster in some areas. The face, I think, looks pretty damn good. The claws and toes, they all look really nice. And the back, for the most part, is also all right. The tail, like at the end, if you can't really see it that well, it does not have any paint on it up to here. Other than that, it is completely unpainted. One thing that I really don't like is the head. You can kind of see that the little antenna up there, they are all one piece, which I don't think is really good. Uh, I'll put a picture up of the actual, like, model of what Shin Naranga is supposed to look like, and you can definitely see that this is not exactly what it is supposed to look like from the side, but... That's how Bandai sculpted it, and oh well. As for articulation, Shin Naranga is very, very basic. His arms can move, both of them are rotating. His legs, his legs can also move. And yeah, just a, a standard four-point articulation figure. Naranga is pretty basic in that respect. Putting him to the side, we can now go into size comparisons, and this is where I think they are going to kind of get the best kind of look at this figure. Let's start with a few figures that I've actually reviewed here on the channel. Starting off with a pretty basic one, the uh, the Heisei Godzilla. I'd say that this looks pretty good when you compare them. You can have maybe a little battle. I'm not sure what you would want to do with Godzilla and Naranga, but hey, it's up to you. If you want to have a little bit more substance in your movie, like a little bit more originality, I think that comparing him next to King Goldross would be very, very cool. This might be something I might do in the future. Just have uh, Naranga here face off against this guy, because I think they actually look pretty cool next to each other. I'd say that that looks pretty good. Well, here's a figure that I have not reviewed on the channel yet. If you guys really, really want me to, I will next time. And that is Space Godzilla. Uh, I think this is the most recent release of him, and he looks pretty good next to uh, Naranga as well. Like all the other figures, he is a bit taller, but still, that doesn't make uh, Shin Naranga any worse. And I'm not sure why you would want these two fighting again, they really don't have much in common. But yeah. Oh yeah, also, since these guys are both pretty long figures, here's something that you probably want to take note of. This guy is long, long, long. Like, actually... I don't think I can fit him up in the camera for how long he is. But yeah, his tail is massive. It is huge compared to the head and body proportions. So you're going to want to free up some self space for this guy. But yeah, that is uh, that was him next to Space Godzilla. And now we're just back to Naranga. So my overall thoughts on this guy. Sizing wise, he's pretty good. I think he compares well to Godzilla and other monsters. Articulation wise, I think he could be a lot better because I think that, you know, arms and legs, those are kind of a given, but I think a head rotation would have been nice. Maybe something at the tail. I think if you were to rotate these uh, antenna pieces right there, that would be really cool. I'm not sure how they would do that, but, you know, something to engineer in there, that would be nice. Shinaranga here, he's very, very cool. I like him a lot. I just think that, hey, if man and I were to put in a little bit more effort with some articulation points and paint, I think this guy could have been a overall perfect figure, but I'm not saying that he's bad whatsoever. This guy is very, very good. If I had to give him a scale out of five, I would probably say that he is a three and a half, because, yes... He's very, very good looking, and if you were to just look at him from this angle, it's definitely a very nice looking figure. That being said, I think he 
is a little bit bland in some areas, and as well as that, I think that uh, the articulation, like I've been saying, is kind of lackluster, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about Shin Naranga here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this return back to uh, Kaiji Review. Thank you all for 1,000 subscribers, by the way. Um, I'm not sure really what I'm going to do for that yet. This is not the official 1,000 subscriber special, but I think I will do something for that. And I, I'm, I'm really happy with it, guys. I've been doing this for almost four years now, and I'm, I'm blown away by the fact that you guys are really that supportive of me. Best thing that I can say is that we're going to hopefully keep growing and hopefully keep making better videos. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.